Hey everyone, Nathan Nerdark here from Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds, and today we're going to have a Nerdcraft kit bashing origami combo. Combo! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ted, uh, with me I have... I'm Ted. I'm introducing people. <laughs> uh, so we, it's a combo because we did a video on... We, we made a D6 um, origami, you know, cube if you will. But if you happen to just put it, you know, on a dungeon tile, that's actually putting it the wrong way, it just about covers a 15 by 15, you know, grid. That's about a large creature space. That, that's a, a large, large creature, but it's certainly doable. Do we know well, any creatures that take up that, that amount of space? Do we know any creatures that take up that, that amount of space? And that are cube-like? Cube -like? Yeah, what happen to be cubes? You know, now this is kind of kind of squishy, so yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what if it was say gelatinous mm, I think so, this could work out so now the, the problem is is gelatinous cubes are not bright and colorful this is true so is there a way to make a non colorful version or maybe even a see through there is in fact we can take this what's what artists use to cover up their artwork which is called acetate it's basically sheets of plastic special plastic and we cut them into smaller sheets about this the origami six inch size and then we start folding it up into the actual pattern for it i mean it's really hard to see but we'll, we'll figure out how to show you guys on the uh, video coming up so uh let's get to work turning these sheets into a gelatinous cube all right so like we mentioned before this is a kit bash origami combo one of the things to note is that we are using the D6 origami and we're taking the top part off just to show you where I'm at on this uh, very difficult to put together gelatinous cube because <laughs> uh, while it's very easy to see the coloration and the differences and how the paper should slide together seeing seven or eight layers of gelatinous cube triangles is kind of difficult but anyway um so aside from watching that torturous 10 minutes <laughs> no just kidding it, it was it was definitely a challenge but you know stick with it 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 wasn't that bad uh you know it was like you know your first piece of origami this is the first time i'm using acetate as an origami piece of paper so it's kind of difficult it was kind of difficult and rough so we're going to take our our kit bash skeleton bits with his legs going to take some fishing fishing line uh, about you know a foot or less you can do you know a foot I would go with a foot because you can always trim the excess and then attach it to his arm <clears throat> so he looks suspend he'll look suspended with a fishing line and we are going to open up the box similar to the plastic gelatinous cube box similar to how it is opened over here and uh, oh, and like I was saying, it's this is the D6 origami that Nerdcraft did. So look, check out that if you want to learn how to do this one. And uh, again, you know, cut. You want to have the the measurements are don't need to be exact as origami paper because you know the gelatinous cube. It's a little lumpy. It's a little off. If you had a like a, a strict geometric cube, it might actually look like a strange gelatinous cube. Well, this one's kind of a little lumpy. Because uh, they're not perfect six by six squares that I did. So we've got our open box. We're going to drop our little skeleton legs in. Boop, boop. And they're just going to just go around wherever we need them. We're then going to take our skeleton torso and we're going to secure one side first. So I'm looking at it and I'm thinking that. That is a good bit of dang o dangle. So we run it out of one corner, we run it down to the bottom, and then we're going to tape it to the bottom. So I have created some non standard looking pieces of tape. They've got a bit of curve to them and cut off pieces and wrinkled bark parts to it. So, okay, now we're going to go back, now that my tape is not taped to the ground, I mean taped to the table, and we're going to run it through here, run it down, and run it down the, by, the back side. I'm going to put some tape on it. 
on the fishing line and tape it to the base. So as it gets grimy and it gets older, it will look like the gross bottom of the Dylan's cube. And then we're going to take the excess fishing line and trim it off. And by that I mean I'm going to very carefully cut it with this utility knife so that I don't slice my acetate. Because once you cut acetate, it's just going to continue to tear over time. All right, get down in there, skeleton. All right, so we've got a dangling skeleton in a box. He's not, he doesn't have the right, quite the right angle to his dangle there. So we're going to hold him. Okay, so I think that's a good spot to stop him. Again, run it down the side to the bottom. Unstick your piece of tape from the table. Tape your fishing line. And now we've got a skeleton that's kind of just hanging, wiggling around in there. And we are ready to put the top on this box. Oh, the legs came out. All right, shove the legs back in there. True up the box a little more. Take your final top piece to your gelatinous cube. And... Kind of figure out where in the world it's supposed to get slotted into. So we've got the one part. I know that you can't really see this. That's another reason why I didn't show it in a video because it would just be me being frustrated trying to put this together on camera <laughs> while you guys really couldn't, and, and gals couldn't really see anything. All right, and then this final little piece, just like in the regular origami box, goes into the final little triangle here. All right. So we're going to try and true this up. Uh, it's not very easy to see. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to get the light closer so you guys can see it. Well, you can see it in person. It's not, it's too reflective. Okay, you see the the skeleton. It's not really impressive without uh, being able to see the skeleton kind of wiggle in there. Okay. So we have our gelatinous cube. He is ready for the dungeon tile. He's got his little skeleton buddy dangling and jangling in there, ready to scare adventurers into running away from the hall. Uh, running away from the weird floating skeleton. And he is ready to eat some people. So, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, it's my first time working with acetate, so sorry for all the, uh, the difficulty and annoyance with that, but overall, you know... Oh, another thing is, you just start manipulating the different corners a little bit to give it that... that uh, cubic look all right so let me know what you think while you're at it uh, you can click like share and subscribe and until next time this is nerdcraft nate the nerdark and ted the nerdarchist stay nerdy